Hey everyone, working carpenter four five six five reviews. Around on your ass, smoking grass. That stuff went out a long time ago. Life. Today we are coming in with a very strong album, Zip Code Rapist, The Three Doctors, including my favorite songs, Fuck a Duck, and the uh, the best Never Rest. <laughs> Um, this is for later. Right now, we're going to be reviewing Thunder Road, starring Robert Mitchum with, alongside his brother, John Mitchum, James Mitchum. Sorry. Um, so Robert Mitchum is a moonshine dealer that deals his father's uh, moonshine that is played by uh, Trevor Bardet, who is kind of, you know, one of those replaceable actors as, as hard as it sounds. Uh, basically, uh, protect uh, James Mitchum from the moonshine world. Um, so a gangster as well as um, a powerful person that is trying to shut down the moonshine industry are both putting pressure on Robert Mitchum and I won't be uh, identifying any other clues because I'm gonna be giving the whole movie away. If you're into road movies and you're into sort of like this Western, very male-powered um, movie uh, type of plot, which I am, uh, you will like this movie and you should go see it. Um, a suggestion I would make to the movie, a bit more soundtrack. The is Arthur Ripley, uh, Arthur Ripley, director of some pre-code comedies. What we call pre-code comedies are comedies that were made between a, uh, a small amount of years, like 1931 to 35, and the comedies that uh, either directly or indirectly mention illicit sex um, or drug abuse or anything of that sort. Um, so, for example, Freaks is considered a pre-code comedy. So he made some of those with W.C. Fields, although they weren't the good ones. Uh, one of them is called The Pharmacist. It was called the barber shop. It's two different professions he did with WC um, before his untimely death. Um, and he also worked with Maria Montez, uh, the Cobra Woman. Um, Maria Montez, a very beautiful and foxy uh, woman. So if you're into moonshine movies, you can also check out Moonshine Highway, uh, starring Kyle MacLachlan and David Cronenberg. How about that? Next moonshine movie get you going with thunder. Our vinyl zip code rapist for today. First Amarillo Records um, vinyl I own. Uh, this is a record label owned by Greg Turkington. Um, I'm a huge super fan at this point. Um, it's a very raspy Pang Wangle album. Uh, it really takes the egg on being very obnoxious and um, yeah, gladly sort of, you can't really hear it, you know, it, it sort of pisses you off. Um, and also the president song, although I didn't even hear it to its full extent. And I actually do like the song Fuck a Duck. Um, and it's true, you won't believe the sound you hear. About the album is it has these little zip code rapists touch me zip code rapists refried boogie. I think that's a really cool addition, like addition to the album. <clears throat> Fuck. 